Welcome back to the Sun Newsroom. We're going to look at what we're working on for you this weekend and upcoming. Kevin Williamson, what is going on on this Sunday? Uh, well, you know, this weekend we have uh, Arrested Development returning after several years away. Um, this on Netflix. It actually uh, originated on Fox, if you remember back in 2003 or so. Um, you know, it was a, a well-received uh, series. Critics loved it, didn't have much of an audience, got canceled. Normally, that would mean it would go away. Um, it hasn't, and the kind of the, the demand for more episodes. Uh, there was talk of a movie at one point, and now this is all kind of culminated in uh, a, a new season um, that people are going to be able to watch, kind of binge on this weekend. I'm kind of interested on the Netflix angle, and I'm just wondering whether this marks the evolution uh, of that service and whether this is going to also the evolution, I guess, of, of how we're going to watch TV programs in the future. Well, that's certainly what Netflix uh, wants you to think, right? Um, you know, there, there's the thought that people binge on uh, TV now, that they, they, for you know, the past decade, they'll get a, a whole season on DVD, watch it all at once. Um, and, and maybe this is a way for TV to kind of uh, not go the way of the music industry, where they uh, are, are saying, okay, here's a whole season you can watch kind of when you want. We're not going to try and control it. Um, you know, uh, we don't really know how well um, Netflix is doing because they don't really have ratings per se. Um, they say they're happy with the original programming. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see how, how it all goes. Yeah, it also says something good, I guess, about a, a TV series that people liked. That just because a network work uh, pulls the plug, that doesn't mean it's over and done. So I guess that's good news for viewers. Kevin, thanks a lot. Okay, let's turn it over to uh, Dean McNulty. Dean, uh, I think I know what you're going to say, but what's upcoming this weekend? This weekend, we have the Indianapolis 500 and I will be there reporting for Sun News and we will have the continuation of the NHL playoffs. Back to you Thane. Thanks Dean, I appreciate it. Uh, sounds like a good uh, assignment for you. Okay, QMI Agency Editor Ted Rath. What's uh, what's happening this weekend? Thaner, we've got um, well, we've got a, a two-part series coming this weekend on uh, Canada's aging generation aging population. We actually, yeah, baby boomers, we joke because this thing has been uh, in the wind or we've been working on this for a while, so we're finally going to see it? We're going to see it. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday is going to actually happen. Uh, it's, it's basically, we're, we're taking a look at, at, uh, at the situation as it is now. We've been talking about it for years that, you know, our resources are stretched. Baby boomers are, are going to live a lot longer than previous generations just with, you know, new medical science and technology. So uh, what is this all going to combine to? How, how crippling is this going to be for our systems? Yeah, I think it, it, that's a good story. And it's one that obviously we've been talking about for a while, but now we're actually seeing kind of the hard numbers and seeing, you know, the true direction. So that should be good. I was looking over your shoulder uh, earlier. We were actually talking about what's upcoming, and I, I saw an interesting item, so maybe you can kind of let us know about that. Yeah, next week uh, we get to the tribunal of these two uh, Toronto cops uh, and their handling of the G20 summit. So that should be, uh, this is a long time coming. We've been waiting to hear about this. Yeah, I mean, it's it's unusual to think that the G20 was so long ago, and yet just now we're kind of uh, getting some uh, solid answers, hopefully. Ted, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, listen, for those stories and a lot more, pick up your son not only on Saturday, Sunday, but all week long. Why? That's easy. We're writing each and every story for you.